Hey there guys, Mac Junkie here. Uh, today's video, well, I have a lot of videos that I've wanted to make. I haven't uploaded in quite a while, but something happened today that kind of just pissed me off. So I wanted to talk about it. And that kind of has to do with how toxic um, this community can be. Um, and it's quite unfortunate. Um, so I was in Will Hirsch's server, which is usually one of the tamer servers when it comes to like shit that can happen. Um, and there was a guy who posted a video, or not a video, sorry, a photo of like a squiddy bee that he had gotten. Obviously new to the hobby, obviously not that knowledgeable, but he was someone who was excited about his new squiddy. Um, but he said that he didn't like the, the factory tune on it and he was going to send it back to uh, Squid Industries to get some tuning done or to get it, you know, warrantied, you know, whatever. Um, and people did not like that. I read this whole thread, basically, of just people shitting on this guy, essentially calling him stupid. And at the end of the day, what the people were saying to this new guy, um, I agreed with. But the way they were telling it to him was, like, very condescending. It was very much like, you're stupid. Why the fuck would you send a squiddy back to, you know, Squid Industries? It's just three pieces of plastic, and who cares about tolerances? It's just plastic, three pieces of plastic, and... It's a toy and all this other stuff. And eventually the guy actually left the server. Like at some point in the conversation, this this guy was making fun of the new guy, basically saying, you seriously have a safe queen problem. And I don't know why you have a safe queen problem with a squiddy. Um, the guy replied with, I don't know what that means. Cause obviously he's new to the hobby. He doesn't know all those stupid little terms we use. He doesn't know all that shit. So he was like, don't know what that means. And the guy responded with, doesn't matter. Like the amount of cond like the condescending nature of the entire thread really pissed me off. I tried to message the guy um, that left the server because I wanted to talk to him about the issue he was having and let him know that if he wants to get his fucking squiddy warranted, then he can do he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He bought the thing, he can send it back to Squid Industries and have them, you know, warrant it if he wants them to, or warranty it if the, if he wants them to. No one else has a right to tell him otherwise. Now, would I send a squiddy back if it had, you know, some binding problems out of the box? I would not because the squiddy is a very, it's, it's very simple. It's not something I would send back. But if, if I was new to the hobby and I wasn't comfortable, um, I would probably send it back. And there's nothing wrong with him doing that. Um, but the guy had his DMs closed and he did not um, answer unfortunately because his dms were closed but the fact that someone literally left will's discord server because he got bullied by like five people who were essentially calling him stupid is really fucking annoying and it's a, and it highlights a major problem with this hobby where people get way too full of themselves like these are all toys at the end of the day is the squiddy b more of a toy than the fucking impusa Absolutely it is. But at the end of the day, we still throw both of these things around the same way. We still do our dumb little tricks. We still, you know, treat, we still treat these things like toys anyway. So the fact that this new guy comes into the hobby and instantly gets shit on by one of the largest Balasong discords is really, really fucking sad. Like it's, it's really fucking sad. So if somehow that guy's watching this video, uh, you know, send your fucking squiddy back. It's, it's, it's your squiddy. You can, you know, I do recommend that you learn how to tune it. You know, again, at the end of the day, I did agree with what the people were saying to him, but the way they were saying it to him was so fucking rude. Like, like Jesus Christ. It is not that, you know, it's not that deep. You don't need to treat this guy like he's a dumbass just because he's new to the hobby and doesn't know, you know, what he's doing. Anyway, in other news, um, I wanted to talk about a knife that I got today, or not today, a few days ago. Um, the JK Design Orca clone. This is uh, the one clone. Um, and, uh, you know, speaking of assholes in the Balasong uh, hobby, JK Design is a glaring example of one of those. Even if I was a millionaire, I would never buy one of JK's knives. He can go fuck himself. So... <laughs> And, before, you know, I already know there's probably a bunch of clone people, a bunch of clone haters getting mad in the comments that I've bought this, you know, clone and I didn't spend $1,200 on his monarch that, you know, gets handle slapped because it's a piece of shit and he refuses to change his ways. Um, but those people, uh, fuck you. I don't, I don't really care. I've already spent thousands of dollars on legitimate knife brands and, uh, 
I wanted to get a clone, goddammit. So I got a clone. This thing is scary fucking sharp, too. It is a very sharp dude. Um, brought it, just bring it to work and cut down cardboard with it to try and dull it. It's also the first pinsless live blade that I've ever had. Um, I did have a Deimos Cerberus, which was an Irish Balasong trainer, and that thing sucked. It got handle slapped within like the first two hours of me opening it. This thing has been dropped a few times on concrete. It's got a tiny little mark right there. Um, it's also pinsless, and that, that handle gap is staying strong, and that is a tough handle gap. The only reason I bought this is because I watched a bunch of uh, DJ Eyeless Pyro videos and other videos of people with this clone and then the Tsunami clone, which I also bought. It's just not here yet because it's stuck in China and it's probably going to be there for like 300 years. But um, this is the one that showed up first and it is not not the best. It's also the first floating washer uh, knife I've ever had. And it's it's only it was only like $140. Um, for the price, the fact that it's titanium handles is really good. I don't remember exactly what blade steel it is, but it's really fucking sharp. Um, can't really attest to how long the, the edge lasts because I haven't had this thing very long, but it flips all right. It's about like, it's like four and a half ounces. So it's a bit on the heftier side. Um, but for what I paid for it and the way it looks, I mean, this thing is really pretty. Um, I'm definitely, um, happy with the purchase. Um, there's a lot of new knives that I have and stuff since the last videos I made. Um, I'm probably going to wait till next year when my collection either grows or shrinks um, to make a, an update video because I just have so many knives going in and out that I don't really, um, I don't really know <laughs> which ones I'm going to have or not. And I don't want to make like 30 collection videos. One of the newer knives is this thing, the Log Designs Tijian. It rings very nicely. Very handle bias though, but still a very pretty knife. It's got some bullshit aftermarket T8s in it that strip really easily because Log Designs does not sell extra hardware, those damn motherfuckers, but oh, I found a T8 hardware that fits. And this thing is basically a trainer because it's completely dulled, but I can flip it and look cool because it's a live, it looks like a live blade. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Anyway, I don't know. This video is kind of bullshit. Mostly, um, I, I wasn't really going to make a video on the, the Orca, or not the Orca, the uh, Monarch clone, but um, the main reason I, I wanted to post this video was because of that uh, bullshit that that guy had to deal with in the Wilhurst server, and I really hope he doesn't take that as a reason to like leave the hobby or something, because that would be really unfortunate, um, but you know. If you're uh, feeling like being an asshole just because you have a couple thousand dollars of knives and you know what you're talking about, you should uh, shut the fuck up, honestly. Just don't don't be an asshole to new people in the hobby. The hobby's already small enough as it is, and you need to treat new people with respect, just like you treat any other Balasong person you're talking to. Instead of answering their questions like, a, like an asshole, how about you answer their questions with constructive, not even constructive criticism. Just tell them how to fix their problem without sounding like a total fucking dick. All right. It's not that hard because a lot for a lot of people, the squiddy, this is their gateway into Bala songs. And they start with one of these. And if you get one out of the box and it's binding or something like that, you're probably going to think there's something wrong with it. Even though people who are seasoned in the hobby are going to be able to tell you that you can just, you know, tune it. You know, it's, you know, it's just a squiddy. So you can, you can fucking throw this thing off a roof and it'll be fine. But you know, anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't be an asshole. Uh, uh, the end.